Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following me as I explore the wide world of pens. And you may ask, uh, why is there what looks to be a polished rock in my hands? Well, hopefully the color is recognizable because it is a piece of amber that I got on eBay. And the description said there were two insects embedded in here. I think I might be able to see them, but they're fairly small and not obvious. I did try to get a piece of amber that had the most variety of shades and colors in it because we're going to talk about the amber resin that has been used in a number of fountain pens. This is where I got my amber from. It looks like uh, Eastern Europe seems to be a place where a lot of amber comes from. Got it on eBay. So we see in front of us my five amber is a cat pens from Pen BBS. And all these have nibs on that say Ember is a cat. And then my five Niango resins, pens. And here are two, four, seven, one, side by side. A model that not too many people talk about, but I have a few of them. Flanking that are two, three, five, fives. And then two, four, eighties. And then we deviate a little bit. We have a 308 and a 352, a 500, and a 469. And yes, none of these pens have exactly the same colors in them, which is one of the traits of a resin of this nature, that probably every inch of that poured resin is going to have a little bit of a different color variation to it. You know, your orange and your black your gray, your purple, and your dark purple, and ah, lots of different colors in Niango. This is more of a cracked ice design. This is more of a swirl design. Let's just take a look at some of these a little bit closer. So one thing that the Amber Pen BBS pens have in common is this wonderful nib. Amber is a cat, two cat paws, and of course the Pen BBS logo. Again, one of those nice little things that Pen BBS does that really makes their pens special. I think this 469 certainly shows the variations of the amber resin. We have this very intense spot here with some nice chatoyancy. As we twirl it around, we'll see mostly the amber color. We flip around to the other end and we'll see a different version of it. Here's more of a chateau and seal, kind of like pearlescence view, but not a lot of dark in it, where the other one had more dark in it. As you go around here to the other side, you'll see more of that amber color with some black veins in it. I mean, you can pick up any of these pens and find some interesting variations. Again, no two are going to be the same. You're going to get variations in them. And Niango is also a, a similar resin. A lot of people have said, well, they may like or not like the variations that they get in their pen, but that's the luck of the draw, the nature of the beast. I think it's an attribute. I think it's a positive trait. I think it's great that no two pens are going to look the same. You know, and, and in the Ango, you can see where most of the clear areas are somewhat towards the middle. Here, the darker ends are quite evident. Here, the darker ends are a little bit less evident. Here is a darker end, but the cap doesn't replicate it. One of the things I think is nice is we look at this model, the 352, which is, again, a model that's not really well talked about in the... Internet of Things. If we uncap it, we'll see one of the things that 
is interesting. We hear that section is just kind of out of place with this whole variation. But if we uncap the 500, we'll see the section follows through. So this matches up with the cap color that covers it. At one time I thought that was actually done deliberately, but now I think it's just a matter of what pieces they pick out of the bin and gets assembled into a pen. So hopefully you've enjoyed this look at some amazing resins and different pens. And speaking of amazing resins and different pens, we can't leave out these three pens here. The M800 from Moon Man, the M600S from Moon Man, and these, these two resins are pretty much the same and are close, if not identical, to the Pen BBS amber resins. So if you don't like Pen BBS, you have these two Moon Man models that you may be able to find. I think the M600S has disappeared, but the M800 is still around. And here's like a generic pen called a Centennial, which has a resin which is close to, but not exactly like the amber. The amber has more transparent bits to it. This is more opaque, but it's still a nice color and an inexpensive pen. I give you some uh, references in the video description to some of these reviews if you want to look at them a little bit more closely. I think we need to end up with some pens hauled up by crabs on a turntable. Before we go to the turntable, I would be remiss if I didn't show this pen from Birmingham Pens, the 6th Avenue, and it's called Jurassic Amber. And one can definitely see the amber aspect of this pen. I think it's nice as it's uh, limited edition and it's serial numbered. But it's a different take on amber. I think we need to bring in a real bit of amber to see how that works. And I would have to admit that the Pen BBS Amber has certainly come close to capturing at least this example of real amber. But uh, Jurassic Amber is certainly attractive in its own way, and I've always enjoyed that kind of cracked ice look that this resin and other resins in the cracked ice family have which is also what Niango shares too. As we rotate underneath of some LED lights, it's uh, dusk here, so really no sunlight, but the LEDs, I think, do justice to this resin. Let's zoom in a little bit as we reach the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to Support me with your comments. Watch the ads to give me some revenue. One of the things that I've always enjoyed was this fact that PEMBBS uses resins with particular connotations to them, particular meanings to them. And these two 480s rotating in front of you, I think are prime and excellent examples of a nice classic design reinterpreted with some interesting materials and all for all writing enjoyment. So put some ink on paper, write some letters, correspond, notes to yourself, journal, doodle, sketch. That's what the pens are for. So thank you for watching. We've reached the end of this video. We're going to say bye and let the crabs wink at you.